With the U.S. entering the Second World War, a dire need for nurses developed both at home and overseas. The government responded by enlisting the aid of various nursing schools nationwide. The major effect of the war on us was that after two years of our nurses training, the government came in with the cadet corps program and agreed to pay for the for our education so that the hospital told us then we could either forfeit our two years at Samuel Merritt Hospital or go somewhere else and go somewhere else to finish our education or we could stay under the government program in which case we would be frozen to our jobs when we graduated and the only way that we could get out of the job if we didn't like it was to go into the military. We got government uniforms, Cadet Corps uniforms, which were different from our, our merit uniforms. Dear beloved member of our great merit family, here it is, August 15, 1945, VJ Day to all intents and purposes. When the radio broke the news at 4 p.m. on the 14th, the nurse's home became a bedlam of hysterical shrieks and a mad scramble to get dressed and out to properly greet VJ Day on a general late. When class holiday for the probies was declared for the following day, excitement well nigh consumed the alley. The splashing of water in the shower room to accomplish the toileting of the hastily departing probies was like the mighty continuous dashing of a great Niagara. Sincerely, Jesse E. Stevens. After the war, the cadet nurse program came to an end. Students' work hours were reduced to only 40 per week, allowing for two full days off. However, the 40 hours still did not include classes and study time. Basically, the hospital could not have functioned without the student nurses. We had to learn on the go and very quickly. We worked like RNs our senior year and received $10 a month for keeping the hospital running smoothly. We didn't have any AIDS. We didn't have any LBNs when we were students. We did everything for the patients. We took total care of the patients.